Hi everyone! This is Ventrasy and welcome to my channel! Tonight, I will talk about the different auras found in RuneScape. What is Aura? Aura is an item that can only be used or purchased by members as part of the Members Loyalty Program. You can use the Aura to gain combat bonuses, to enhance your skills, or even for pure cosmetic purposes. This aura can be bought by opening the Solomon's General Store in your tub or by talking to Zuwan or Dilwyn. So now, I will show you where you can find the Solomon's General Store in your tub. So if you look on the left side corner of your screen, you can find this red gold um, icon underneath the mask screen. So just press this, click this, and then there you go, the Solomon's General Store. So in Solomon's Channel Store, you can use two different currencies. You can either use the loyalty points or the rune coins. So what's the difference? The loyalty points, okay, so the loyalty points are additional reward used to the, uh, given to a player for becoming a member for, consecu for consecutive months. So for the first month of becoming a member, you'll receive 500 loyalty points. But if you remain, if you remain a member for the next month, you will receive additional loyalty points and so on. However, if the player doesn't have enough loyalty points, they can use the rune coins. So rune coins is a runescape currency that are obtained through microtransaction. So it means a player can use the real-time money to, um, to buy rune coins and that rune coins can be used to buy the items they want in the store. So in the store, there you can buy all the auras that you want. That includes the aura for cosmetic purposes. So just in case you want your characters to have eyes that glows in various colors, do you want the character's eyes to glow in red, blue, green, orange, and yellow, you can buy it in here. However, those cosmetic auras doesn't have any bonuses. It's just mainly for fashion. Okay, just That's just a piece of advice. Okay, after that, I will show you where else can you find or where else can you buy the auras. Okay, so when um, so if you're in Borto, I'm in Borto at the moment. So from the lodestone of the Borto, you can just go northwest from the port stop. So northwest, I sorry, northeast, northeast, northeast. <laughs> so okay, so northeast you go north from the lodestone, go east. Go east and then north. So northeast of from the lodestone. There you go. This is Zuwan. This is the non-player character named Zuwan. He is actually the man beside this green tent. Okay. So when you click him, you will open the shop and there you will find the tub or the shop for the auras. So the auras have five tiers so it's the tier one two three four and then five of course the tier five have the legendary auras it means it has the best auras in the shop however before you can buy this one you need to buy the auras from the tier one first so from the tier one then two three and then four and five so how do you know what aura to buy first my answer is, it actually depends on what skill you want to focus or what skill you want to do at the moment. For example, for example, I love to do thieving. I want to do thieving, I want to level up thieving, so I want to buy an aura for thieving. So actually, since I've been a member for a long time and I have collected a lot of loyalty points, I managed to buy the tier 5 thieving aura. Thieving aura. Actually, that is the legendary, no, actually legendary five finger discount. This legendary five finger discount is um, actually a, um, increases your chance of thieving successfully by 15% for an hour, which is really good. And then you can reuse it after three hours. So it's really worth it to buy those, these auras. So now, for example, yeah, you've decided what to buy. You decide what aura you want to buy first. So, buy the fair one first. So just in case if you don't have enough auras to buy, or you don't have enough auras to buy a fair two aura, just click the star, star button down here. 
and it will automatically go to my favorites so when you click the star and then it will go to my favorites to my like the star star to my favorites just click my favorites on your next visit and there you go you will automatically see the aura that you save aura that you save from the previous um from the previous time that you bought you, the previous time that you bought the first aura so there you go you don't have to search in this bunch of auras of what you want to buy just click the star and you automatically uh just click the star and it will automatically goes to my favorites okay that's basically so now i will talk about the festive aura this festive aura is one of the best auras the players uh, the members have for free so basically this is more useful during december as you can see it gives 50 percent increase to um this one 50 50% increase to XP during the month of December. Yes, only to the month of December. However, you can still use this aura for cosmetic purposes. So when you click it, and if it's not December, you can still have these glowing wings like snowflakes. It's really good though. Even if you don't have the 50% increase to XP, you can still have that um, um, glowing wings like uh, cosmetic wings. So yeah, I have um, a piece of advice. This festive aura, a members will automatically have it in their inventory on the first time they open their account. However, if it's not in your inventory, it will be on your bank. But if your inventory and your bank are both full, you can only find it. You can find it with. Uh, you can find it here with Suwon. So you can buy, find it to him with him to him in him <laughs> so when you open the shop through him you can actually find it on the tier one aura so when you open it it's actually on the bottom the right side yeah there you go this is the festive aura so that's where you can get it but just in case um it's not in there it's not in your inventory or it's not in your um bank and you previously collect it you already already got it before the ores are actually kept in this tab in here so just click it and then the auras that you previously owned will be shown so just click it and there you go these are the ores that you already own so just in case like um you will know if you already use it if it turns like this so it means i cannot open it again so since i already opened it earlier because i want to try it um and i didn't manage to show it to you i apologize i cannot use it until uh, for 12 hours after 12 hours so i'll click it yeah it says here 12 hours after that i can use it again so now i will share to you the ores that i got so first one that i got was the lumberjack um, actually before i was doing a wood cutting so i got the lumberjack for my skill and this is good for wood cutting the next is i got the vampirism actually um this um vampirism my um my friend recommend this to me because before i was doing slayer and it's really useful because this aura can gain life points equal to five percent of any damage you deal so it means like um every time the, the monster attack you and then the five percent of the damage you gain health back so it's really really good and useful for slayer task as well and then next is i got um this um i got the wisdom this the wisdom aura basically for experience some um, extra experience i got the five finger discount for thieving i also got the supreme jack of trades this one for um extra extra xp um it's a bit different because you have to do 20 different skills within three hours to receive the bonus xp this is actually the, the tier five so it means on the tier one you only have to do like three or five or ten so you can get the bonus xp and so on it goes up as the tiers increases so yep i got this passive aura 
this is festive aura and i can get i have this um illumination aura which is not useful anymore because it's only active active until the 9th of december september also i got this oh sorry i got this um Helion aura which is really good i think this is one of the popular auras that people have basically because it has a lot of perks in it but yeah it's pretty good so yeah whatever auras you choose it actually depends on you it de actually depends on what you want to do or what you want to increase or what skill you want to focus on anyway i can sh before i end the video i can show you dealwin he is the other npc where you can open the shop from so when you teleport to Fripdinas, there you go um teleport there uh by the way i have to apologize because there's something wrong with my computer at the moment i think the mouse doesn't coordinate to my screen but um, i'll try my best to explain everything to you so yeah um what's your once you arrive in Fripdinas, you can find Dilwyn on the south of the Lodestone. It's, he is actually here. Here, here. There you go. He's actually on the south of the Lodestone. And just click him and open the shop through him and you will see the shop. That's it, guys. Awesome. So just to um, repeat to you guys, if you can't find your aura anywhere else, not in the bank or not in the inventory, it's in the box beside, yeah, it's in here beside the helmet, beside the headgear, okay? Open your armor tab and you can find the aura, aura slot in here. I mean the aura box beside the headgear. Just click it and you'll find all your auras, okay? So click it and find you'll find the auras that's all thank you very thank you very much for watching thank you bye bye